Buzz, you're back. Are you okay? Yeah, man, I'm okay. Oh, man, you're pouring it all over me. Come on. <laughs> Welcome back to The Secret Man. I'm Spiro. I'm Raj. Today we're talking about our bar sneaker history and our favorite bar sneakers. Bar sneakers we recommend for you. But first, what do we have on feet? We're wearing our bar sneakers today, folks. I'm wearing the New Balance 550. Um, I'll talk about it, but I, it, they're beat to shit. Yeah, the, this is our worst <laughs> on feet video ever because we're just wearing our literal dirtiest sneakers that we have yeah. i'm wearing my bait reebok workout pluses which i love these but i've been taking these out to the bar for years now and i honestly probably need to retire these and i almost never throw shoes away but these you should, you should show video of like the wear and tear on those because there's so much i'll sh i'll get a close-up it it's gross folks though yeah, it's not right. it's ugly now getting into our our bar sneaker history raj and i have been friends for a very long time and we did go to college together and we now live after college together so we've been going out with each other and knowing what shoes we've worn for going out time. for a very 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 long time i'll just start by saying i used to not have like a specific shoe i kind of would just have like the oldest running shoe that i used to wear and then that just be like well this shoe's kind of already like cooked and I'll just wear an old running shoe that I don't run in anymore. So that that caused me to uh, wear the Lunar Epic Flyknit 2 Low. Oh my god, <laughs> I forgot about those. So, so you know, parties in college and whatnot, going to the bar. With you, I'm going to show a picture of that on the screen you're going to be like, yeah. The, <laughs> here's a quick no-no that we're going to already strike down. Don't wear, you know, mesh sneakers to Don't bar. do that. Just don't do it. That's a did. mistake. That <laughs> was a mistake. They are pretty comfy, and I like. I did enjoy my times in those. Then that sneaker. You're asking for trouble. You wear a running shoe to the bar. You're yes. asking for trouble. Someone bumps into you. Uh, mystery liquid falls onto your foot <laughs> and immediately soaks into your sock. That's not fun, and it did definitely. It definitely happened to me, and. I guess I didn't have enough money at the time to do anything about it. Okay, I had the most classic bar sneaker of all time. Um, it is the all white Air Force Ones. The just the classic shoe, beat them to shit. The, the like air bubble you could or like the air in the back, like I think it was out. Like it's it was pressed fully. <laughs> yeah, it was gone. Um, I love that shoe though. They're, it's a great bar shoe. That is uh, a pinnacle of the bar shoe. That's on the. Oh, Barstool yeah. Mount Rush. Oh, absolutely. It might be George Washington on that. On wow. that. I think it might be. Well, George Washington, would you rather be Abe Lincoln? Okay, fine. Or whatever, whoever you're the best president <laughs> is on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> that's what the Air Force One is on the Mount Rushmore. Like, they, that shoe is so easy to wear. You can wear it with almost anything and, or literally anything. And when you beat it up, you don't feel bad because you paid like 75 bucks. It is a good bar bar sneaker and i actually i think we could fill out the mount rushmore in this video i think that'd oh, be good uh, actually yeah <laughs> that could a be a that could good. be a title for the yeah, video wow absolutely on the fly <laughs> my next bar sneaker um was another old running shoe this this one is almost worse than the first one because an, another thing that is a great you know trait to have in a bar sneaker is it goes with everything <laughs> This one went with nothing. <laughs> this one actually went. actually went with absolutely nothing, but I wore it with anything I want. <laughs> and it is the and like I said, this was a running shoe that I ran in, and when I you know cooked them running, I wore them to the bar. And it's the Nike Zoom Pegasus Thirty Five Turbo in the hot punch color. It's like an all green with a big, like. Solar yeah. red <laughs> stripe down the whole thing, uh, like top down. Stripe. Terrible bar shoe. Terrible bar. It shoe. was really comfy. That's another thing. <laughs> okay. Comfort is important, it, and with my first two shoes, I had comfort. But but it did not work with any outfit. <laughs> yeah, it, no, it didn't look good. I wore, you know, yeah, I was wearing those with jeans and a t-shirt and a flannel. And honestly, at the time, like looking back, 
I rocked it in my no, mind. No, no, you did it. I think I did. So I, I'm not going to really let anybody tell me any different. Again, this wasn't the time in my life where I was like, you know what? I need one shoe just to wear to the bar because this is in college. This is college. We're not, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Who gives a crap? Like, That's fair. Most people are wearing junky things in college too. Yep. And that was actually a very comfortable shoe. It's the Turbo Edition, folks. That was the Zoom X. There was Zoom X in that. It's a good shoe. And honestly, yeah, honestly, I think that shoe is pretty cool. Bar sneaker, though, eh, eh, I wouldn't do it today. Let's just say that. Yeah. It's, it, it wasn't a mistake. It was, it was a lesson. Yeah, yeah. You got to learn those lessons at some point. All right. So what is, <laughs> what's your next one? Um, my next one is the New Balance 550s. The ones I'm wearing right now, these have been, these were my bar shoes for the last, like, two two and a half years i love this shoe it's so comfortable it's a size too big on my foot but it's still comfortable and i i've played basketball in these recently and they held up fine somehow so i don't know it's a great shoe uh all white you can as you can tell all white was my go-to has been my go-to and this is no different Another good pick, not really an embarrassing pick by no. Raj. Uh, Raj is kind of just going straight down the middle. Yep. Which, for a uh, bar shoe, you want to be sure You kind of do. Cause yeah. You want to be able to wear it with everything. But sometimes other people have a different tactic with their bar shoes <laughs> 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 where they kind of just wear whatever they don't care about anymore, which is fine. Is fine. I will say my next shoe is more down the middle. And I think this, maybe not the colorway specifically, would be on my. Mount Rushmore of bar shoes. Okay. It's the Reebok Workout Plus, specifically oh, yeah. the one yeah. I'm wearing in yeah. the bait colorway. Yeah. Like, I, this is where I got a shoe. I wore these for a while, and once I kind of beat them up a little bit, I was like, you know what? I could probably wear them out. Yeah. And I did. And I've been wearing these, like I said at the beginning, for years. Years. Going out to the bar in college and after college. And they're, they're great. I have cooked these. I need a new pair pretty badly. But, like Roger's saying, the white shoe, maybe you're a black shoe person. Black, honestly, would probably be a better color for the bar. Actually, it probably would be. But, personally, I just think white sneakers go with more outfits that I want to wear. I just think they look better with the outfits I wear. Um, but other people like black shoes more. If you like black shoes more, the black Reebok Workout Plus probably yeah. would be a perfect bar shoe. Because, also, you could probably wear those, like, regular... Uh, out and just like for regular wear as well because it's not gonna the dirt's not gonna show up like all the scuffs and sh stuff that happens it's not gonna show up nearly as much another thing like we talked about before like the leather being the material of your bar sneaker yeah. that is the third key of yeah. a of a of a bar sneaker you need it to be leather maybe something slightly different but like you need to be able to clean it yeah even though the white gets dirty you could see the dirt on it like, you don't even need sneaker cleaner to clean those. You can yeah. just take a paper towel and water, and, like, you can get most of the stuff off of it. Yeah. Raj could have made those look so much better before this video, but I'm glad we got the authentic look. Th this is how I keep them, man. They're my, <laughs> my bar shoes, all right? This is how they stay. And that's okay. And I think I would, like I said, that's going on my bar, Mount Rushmore of, no, yeah, of bar sneakers. What's your next one? Uh, my next one is a sneaker that we picked up. It was one of the first videos we reviewed, or one of the first video shoes we reviewed on this channel. Um, it is the Onitsuka Tiger Mexico 66s. I love this shoe. I It became my bar shoe just kind of by default. I wore them to Africa first, and they got like super dirty in Africa. Then I wore them to India, and then I started wearing them, to, and I would just wore them around in between those two trips as well. And then I started wearing them to the bar, and I think they look better messy. It's one of those weird things where it's like, I think because it's a cream color rather than a white, I think when it gets messy, it just looks like more worn in and it looks like it has more character rather than looking dirty. So that might be the new movement of the bar sneaker. It might cream. be moving to like a, yeah, like a off-white cream kind of color. Because I think, this is just my personal opinion, I think it looks better dirty than white does. What cream looks better dirty than white looks dirty? Yes. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's probably like a little less noticeable. Um, and it still can be worn with everything. Yeah, that the wearability, that's the hardest part. And that's why a lot of our suggestions that we are going to say in a little bit are just like, they're just right down the middle. Yep. Okay, my last bar sneaker. 
is the Nike Dunk High. Any color. I personally have worn the Michigan State pair, and I also had the Michigan pair. I have both of those. I wore the Michigan State pair more just because, it honestly, it has more white in it. It's a little bit easier to wear. Yeah. Um, and I did wear those for quite a bit. You wore those we've been living. Yeah. No, I've worn those a lot. Those, those were by, like, in my bar sneaker spot in my room where, like, they're <laughs> just ready to go. Um, those were out for, like, at least half a year. Yeah. Um, as And then these guys, sometimes I was wearing the – Bait Reebok Workout Plus is so much where I had to put them away and be like, got to wear other things. Um, but this kind of goes into what do we recommend? What other things do we wear to the bar? Do we only wear these things? I wear other things, but it really just depends how what's going to be happening right. at the bar or yeah. said event. Um, like if I'm going to like the Bulls game, Blackhawks game, Cubs game, yeah, and we're just going to the game, having a few beers, and then going home – that's when I might break out. I might break out the Barclays. I might oh, break yeah, out yeah, the yeah. Adidas Dime Superstars. I might yeah. break those out. Those aren't, there's they have like nice ish materials on those, but I'm like, okay. Yeah. We're just sitting there. Yeah. You could take a cloth to that if it, anything gets on it. Yeah. Nothing bad will happen. Stuff like that. Getting those like retro basketball sneakers. Yeah. Those are a lot of like yeah. the things where I don't want to kill them, but I'd wear them to a, a sporting event. Yeah. But if it's anything like, Super. If you don't know how many drinks you're going to be having, that's when you wear bar shoes. That's when that's the five fifties go on. That's, that's when, when the big yeah. box go on. That's when the Air Force Ones go on. That's when all those go on. That's like the Navy SEAL. It's like <laughs> when you don't know how bad it's going to be in there, we're calling in the bait box. You, you got to have the, the best of the best. It's these guys. Yeah. They can take anything. It's true. So now for our direct recommendations, or maybe just like we said earlier, our Mount Rushmore. Raj, what would you, like, four, four bar sneakers? Okay, this is my round, Mount Rushmore. This is not the Mount Rushmore of bar sneakers. This is my personal list. So on that Mount Rushmore, the Air Force Ones have to stay. The New Balance 550s have to stay. The Onitsuka Tigers, I love those. I think those are probably the best ones. Other than that, I think the Reebok Club C. I don't personally have one, or I don't personally have a pair, but, like, if you can get even some of the ones that have, like, the vintage wash, the, like, whatever, it's, like, the, the cream. Yeah, it's, it's cream. like, the cream instead of the white. That is such a good bar shoe. One of our buddies have wore those to the bar last week, and they looked really good, even though they were super beat up. So that's got to be probably somewhere on the list as well. What I think that's you? fair. My Mount Rushmore is going to be the Reebok Workout Plus, which I have the bait pair. Um, you can get any pair, but it's kind of fun to spice it up with a, yeah. a fun pair. You can get them, wear them b before you beat them up, and then when they kind of get a little beat, then they become your bar shoe. Yeah. Um, and also, that's kind of interchangeable with the club seat. But for me, Workout Plus. Then I'm, I'm going to put the Nike Dunk High on there. Easy to wear, easy to clean. And although I don't have a bar Air Force One, I think Air Force One is on the Mountain Rushmore for sure. No. Yeah. And then, honestly, I don't have a pair of 550s, but I've thought about getting a pair, not specifically for bar shoes, but I do think Raj's 550s look really cool, and I think they'd be a good a good bar shoe for this time, this day and age. Yeah. Maybe I'll switch it up. I'll say, just to be different, I'm going to say, as my fourth one, instead of the 550, Adidas Superstar. If you oh, get the Oh, that's a good one. Adidas Superstar right. and like just a regular yeah. color. I think those are cool and those are cool. Honestly, with all the other Adidas shoes going around, people want yeah. the Gazelles, they want like the Sambas. Um I could I could see the Superstars making a comeback. Oh yeah. And bar sneakers, why not? Especially the toe, the toe of that one. That's oh, not yeah. getting dirty. Oh, that yeah. literally can't soak through. Like you <laughs> pour a drink on it if you want. I don't care kind of thing. <laughs> That's my Mount Rushmore. That's Raj's Mount Rushmore. Kind of all for fun. We didn't think we yeah. thought about that during this video. <laughs> but those are our suggestions. You can always spice it up with cooler colorways of them. Yeah. But if you're going to beat it up on pur purpose, you know, maybe the all white, all black color is, is, is best. Yeah. And if you are going to like switch it up, go for like a switch simple one, in my opinion, like a navy or like a green or something like that. Don't want to get too crazy with that. 
or like these bait Reeboks. Like, or like they're just bait, yeah. they're just white with nicer leather and like a little bit better yeah. details or little details everywhere. You know, you're not making anything crazy. Don't show up to the bar looking like me in the Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbos. Yeah. Yeah. It was a different time. <laughs> we were young. <laughs> I uh, I could get away with it then. After college, can't do that. Don't, <laughs> don't show up in that. Those are our bar sneakers. You got anything else, Raj? No. Thanks for watching. Follow our Instagram. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Forgot to say the Instagram. <laughs> Follow our Instagram. We're doing our best to post over there. At sneakerbench uh, sneaker underscore. Bench underscore. Good remember. Oh. <laughs> Always forget to say it. In the last video, we just remembered to say it. And then I had it written, written at the top of my little notepad for the last video. This video, uh, no writing. So. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> Have a nice day. Like Peace. and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Bye.